Hello everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Civilization 6 on the Nintendo Switch and in today's episode we are going to continue to consolidate because we've done a lot of war recently um, and now we need to look to build um, districts, buildings in districts, things like that and really um, build up our empire. We are doing marvellously though to be honest because we've got 175 science which is a lot. Um, compared to everybody else and we're making lots and lots of money partly because we're absolutely milking Arabia who now has only one city left after we took the others so um, we've also considered in the comments we're going to keep this city here because it's very good very well strategically placed on the continent with Persia so that'll be a good foothold hopefully then walls get up soon and we can hold that um, but if Persia declare war um, an expeditionary force is going to be needed which will be interesting and we've also going to keep this city here because why the hell not? So let's get on with it. And the first thing I'm actually going to focus on doing today is Sun Tzu. Now Sun Tzu, he's past his best. He's, you know, he's, he's won lots of good battles for us. He pretty much single-handedly um, took down Poland with his leadership. But he's, he's past his best. He's, he's no use to us anymore. And what we can do with Sun Tzu is we have the ability to make him create the art of war. Now, I was looking at this before I started the episode because I was pretty convinced we didn't have many cultural districts. And it turns out we have Zilch. Um, so the first thing we need to do when something's free, our city's free, and I'm thinking down here in Ro this one here, which I can't pronounce. Um, once it grows in two turns, um, everything, so we get it grows in two turns and the monument's completed in two turns. That allows us to have 10 population, to have a new district, and we'll also have our production free. So I think we're going to um, build that there um, so that we can build, um, create the art of war. So we'll actually move him down there. We'll start moving him down um, from Cairo, which was his last triumph. And we'll move him down here um, to go and write his books and stuff. Okay, so thank you very much, Sun Tzu. I mean, a few turns you will be retired and you can enjoy your retirement and um, write books about war. What are Poland doing, is my question. Declaring war would be fantastic. I'm all for that. Um, I feel like crossbows and chariots, pikemen, stuff like that, may be out of date by now. Um, and our cannons will make easy work of them. Um, to be fair, we don't have many troops around here, so it could pr um, prove to be a bit of a farce if they do decide to get brave. Oh, please. Please. Oh, is he just, just announcing me? Oh, I don't even think he's announcing me. Ah, I see you have found God's wisdom and that you... Oh, wow, no. She's been friendly. I just presumed she was declaring war, but no, we're friends now. Yay. I wanted to declare war because I, I just wanted her to start something that she couldn't finish. Um, I mean, Sun Tzu would ride into battle on his own. An old man on a mobility scooter and just absolutely destroyed the Polish army like he did last time. Um, Gilgamesh, I'm not declaring war, but you settled on my continent. The guy comes and settles on my continent and then gets angry about it. No. Do not like him. Right, so we've got a university completed in Krakow, which has boosted our science further. 178.1 now, which is nice. Um, now, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We were, I, were, I was considering actually building the cultural district here, the theatre square here. And to be fair, it's probably not a bad shout because we have lots of tiles here. And Krakow... Uh, we're not in Krakow. Why do I think we're in Krakow? That's weirded me out. I thought we were in Krakow. Okay, we're not. We're in this city here, which was, I think, the site of his first conquest, Sun Tzu. So we could, we could sort of just take up one of these tiles that's not up to much and build a, a cultural, um, a theatre square there. That one would give us plus one culture, which at this stage is, you know, there's better things in life, but... You, you, I'm just trying to think where, thematically, sort of, where should we put it? I just want it out of the way of anywhere we could build anything else. Around here, we could pl plausibly put a, um, what's it called? An industrial zone, because I think we'll get decent bonuses, because we have, yeah, we have mines everywhere around here. 
So if we could build a few mines and things, there's definitely potential for an industrial zone around there. So we probably don't want to go and stick the cultural hub there. Um, the theatre square, even. We could just stick it there. I mean, plus one is... It, it's, it's not amazing, but it'll do. We're probably not going to put anything else there, are we? Or we could just stick it there. Yeah, it's going there. I can't be bothered. There you go. I've done thinking. It's fried my brain. You're next to there. You've not got an adjacency bonus, but I don't care. Right, Ravana has completed the arena. Good for amenities. Can you do anything for housing? Um, a bath. Um, six turns. Six turns and would actually sort you out for housing in the long term. Because you have six of eight population, but... Um, you know, if we deal with that now, then we don't have to worry in the future so much. Um, have you got walls as well? I think you have, because I remember when we were founded the city bordering China, we were well aware of the hazards, and we have got basic walls. Good monument has been repaired in Stockholm. Now we just need to repair the water mill, um, and we need to get some of these troops moving around. Good, right. Um, so, I'm very much... Um, Okay, we'll, yeah, we'll repeat the route to Amsterdam just for the gold. Keep getting that in. I just need to check something. Do, 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 do. Um, so we're looking at Stockholm now. Right, good. I've done this thing. I did this the other day. I thought I pressed the space bar on the keyboard, which theoretically pauses the video, which, you know, not ideal if you're trying to record. But it's not done, which is good, right? So we have Genghis Khan here. Now, I don't think he's going to be needed around here um, at all. Oh, that, that's a good tile to own. Can we own that? Can we buy that tile? We have lots of money. This is why you want lots of money. You can just do random things like that. I'll have that tile, thank you. And if I could, I'd buy that one to free our exit, but I can't. Yeah, but I'll take that tile. Anyway, sorry. So Genghis Khan is probably not needed up here. Stockholm will repair itself. We'll leave some troops, but I'm not worried about the threat from one Arabian city at all. I don't think it's anything to worry about. Probably the biggest threat right now would be China, just technologically. But Poland does have a few troops they're just throwing around. So if we needed to fight, I think right now that would be the place. Although we could take, send you over to Larsa, really, because... Um, do, 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 because... Oh, we do, how do we have a great general around there, don't we, somewhere? Um, we might have to take that, but we do have a great general, actually. We have the new one, who I've not used yet, Rani Lakshim, that person, um, who can lead from there. So actually, Genghis Khan, you can go and oversee the border with Poland. I forgot we had that great general then. That was really weird. Proper dopey, right. There you go, go down there. We'll also send a bombard down there, just in case it's needed. And we'll send the other one towards the other city. Good, good, good. Everybody just get moving in the right direction. That's a start. Um, I think we'll just leave sort of a cannon and and a musket here. I don't think we'll need anything else. I don't even want to put a troop in that city. If that comes under threat, then oh well. But yeah, that's fine. Um, I would actually quite like to send a cannon overseas. But you can't currently move, apparently. Yeah, I'd like to send you over there to offer support. So you get moving over there. Um, oh, a new trader. Or another trader. Which, yes. Oh, the production's nice in this city because it's not got that much going for it, if not. Um, so we'll, we'll just carry on repeating routes. It seems to be working. Our empire is thriving. Yeah, you, I mean... Just, just, just get out of there. Come down here. Right. One other thing I want to mention, and I was going to mention this at the start of the video, but I completely forgot, is this, to my surprise for some reason, is an ocean. And I've not realised that. Someone pointed it out in the comments on one of the earlier episodes. And I really just thought it was a lake, because it's inland, and I thought, oh, it's just a lake. But it's not, it's its own sea. Now, that's why we're not getting the bonus sort of bonuses from that there in here. But I should have figured out that wasn't a lake. But I just thought, oh, it's an, it's a body of water inland. 
surrounded by land. It's a lake. It's not. It's actually an ocean or a sea, whatever. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, there you go. Just thought I'd point that out. Right, let's get on with things. We have our troops moving, which is good. We're also now in a position to declare a war of religion, I think. Basic, and essentially a, a war of religion on these because they've converted one of our cities, um, which I did not realize. But some, um, I think it's Alex pointed that out in the comments. I'm sure it's Alex. It's a good name, by the way. Okay, so everything is ticking on nicely. They have so many religious units here, man. They are going for full scale conversion. I'd get involved, but I'm not bothered. The only thing is, is with them converting so much, do we need to be a little bit wary of them on the religious front? Uh, maybe they're trying to sneak their way to a religious victory, and considering they're quite technologically advanced, stopping them might not be that easy. I think we'll soon pass them, though, at this rate. Defend. Um, ooh, this bombard's he healed, so you can actually come down here. Like, I'm not declaring war on Gilgamesh yet, I just want troops in place for when we do. We will be declaring war because, I mean, you cannot have that. If I was Persia, I'd be declaring war on us. For our city over there. Oh, good. Build a mine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Now, I was thinking about this because we have lots of builders, and I remembered why we actually got them, was to basically work that coal there, and then we can w we could probably work the other things around first, so... We could work the bananas first, and then the coal, but we have three builds, so we will use them. Okay, so that's going to give us a bit of gold. What's really weird about bananas on this game is I'm pretty sure they're not a luxury resource, which makes no sense. Um, but that's a nice fact for you. Right, oh, I quite like the culture from Kamasi, but the gold from Amsterdam is just so superior. Like, it's massively superior. 15 gold, we keep getting lots of money, we will be in an absolutely exceptional financial position. I'm so tempted to go Amsterdam again. Oh no, Kabul's quite good, it gives us almost as much gold, but a bit of production as well. And, and science and culture, which, okay, that's from a policy, so I think everyone gets that, every international trade boots route gets that plus one science and culture. Kabul looks good, I want the production. Oh god, it's miles away. It could easily get plundered. What are you doing? Okay, uh, well, we all know that Polish settler is going to pretty much pop up in a really awkward place, so let's get ready for that. Right, I'm actually going to send it, Kabul. If it gets plundered, it gets plundered. We have that many trade routes. It doesn't matter so much. Okay, so we've built the builder in Krakow. Um, I think an arena would be quite good. I want to keep boosting these amenities. Everything else is fine. Wow, I don't even have a campus here. What a tile that would be. Plus three. That's a nice adjacency bonus. It takes away a very good tile, though, of two... Well, a decent tile of two um, food to production. Um, we don't have too many amazing tiles around Krakow. We have a few. Um, but no, we're not doing that. We are going to just build an arena. Because I want to keep the amenities high. I want our people to be happy. And if they're happy, things will carry on going smoothly. <coughs> Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sun Tzu, stop, stop, stop. You need to go there instead. That's where we're building the theatre square now. I mean, we could build more than one. There's nothing stopping us. Um, I'm, we probably should, but I'm not that bothered. I'm more bothered about money and science. That's how most of my games plan out. Right, so armory, that'd be good. I quite like to turn this into quite a military base. It's very central. Um, to this part of the map. We've got China in the south, Poland in the north, so I think it'd be quite good to have that as a military base. I was seeing something that's very interesting. They've obviously kidnapped a settler, but the city still has a settler. I've never seen that before. Obviously, they can't go and found another city, because that would just break the game and be very weird if city-states went on find founding other cities. That would freak me out. Okay, so... Cairo's completed a trader. Wow, this city is a mess. I thought it'd be a lot bigger city than this. But um, it's not going very well for it. Let's go for a water mill, just for a bit of bonus food and production. 
try and get the basics here. We do have access to grain, so that will, um, sorry, rice. So that will, um, I think the water mill helps that. I can't remember, I th I'm sure it does. Right, granary completed in Stockholm. So we have repaired everything. Oh no, maybe we haven't repaired everything. Have we? It suggests we've repaired everything. Okay, maybe it's just taking a bit of time. Um, now, I want a campus. Like, it seems daft. Like, Stockholm was a science city state. It doesn't have any mountains. Oh, it has one here, which is, you know, there's a better place. Um, but it seems daft that we shouldn't have a, a campus in our science city state. Um, I would quite like to buy that tile anyway. Then we own the whole line. Plus one, decent. It's, it's, it's okay. I really want this to have a science, um, a campus though. So I'm going to actually do that. Good, good, good. I, you can tell I didn't put much thinking into that. I just kind of did it. Um, yeah. Best, oh no. Look, Arabia showing its true military power with that one warrior. It's very scary. I am terrified. As Persia denounces, think we're a warmonger. Um, I've said it so many times. We definitely are. Okay. Okay. He hates us as well. Think we're a warmonger. We're a very peaceful people now. Now we've claimed our victory and took complete control of the game. We are a peaceful people. Good. Right. Now my only worry is is, is this could help. By the march of science beyond the steam engine. Uh, a, a quote there from Winston the Churchill. Ooh, the individual has some possibility of escaping from the power of the state. Fantastic, right. Um obviously now our economic policy we had in there has gone to crap because it's no longer valid. And instead we're gonna put in the, the legendary triangular trade, which I've been looking forward to for quite a while. I've not really talked about it. Um, yeah, plus one, plus four gold and one faith from all trade routes. Now, the faith isn't so good to us. Like, we're not that bothered about the faith. But the fact we're now getting plus four gold, that is very nice. Like, how much gold do I need? I mean, somebody told me in the comments when I did the history of Marley for Gathering Storm. I can't remember. I think it... Oh, I think it was Jody. I can't remember though. They told me that basically I'd love Marley. I should love Marley because of um, of all the money, which is so true. That's how I like to play safe. Money, money, money. I'm telling you, strong economies, you can build everything. You can just buy your way out of trouble if it's really strong. Um, We could put a mine there, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm all for... Oh, that's got food on it, so it probably makes sense to make that tile better. I'm just trying to improve this city as much as possible. Ooh, another trader. I think we could do with more money. I'm actually probably going to look like more than money right now. We don't need I, anything given as amazing science. Okay, we could send a few to China. That's a good city. Plus one production, plus 13 gold, plus two science, plus one culture, and plus two faith. Although we're not so bothered about the faith, but we'll take it. Anything more interesting? I don't want to send them to Persia. I, th I think... Ooh, that's good, though. <laughs> I don't want to send it to Persia, but 18 gold? <laughs> that's good, good, good. I think we'll send it to China. I mean, China hates us, but I just think on the balance of things, maybe China hates us less than everybody else. Plus two production as well. I'm all in for the production here. And the 16 gold. That's that's pretty sweet as well. The other thing is, like, we have got on pretty well with China. And they must have seen what we've done to the rest of the continent. They'd be foolish to backstab us. They should be absolutely embracing us. Ooh, we could get submarines. So what? We're in 1220 and we could get submarines, guys. Is that historically correct? No. No. Um, right, so we've built on the bananas there. Let's go down to the coal. That's what I want more than anything. And then we could even go for the wheat off that, but the coal. Let's go. I think we can work on the coal. This way I'm like, no. No, you can't. Ooh, colonialism. What does that bring? 
colonial taxes, native conquest, the Raj. Um, let's go for the Enlightenment. That'd be very interesting. What I have noticed is we're actually are creating a fair bit of culture, so we can try and boost that, but we're already, we're already doing okay with it. Okay, so Gdanska's got that. Um, I'm trying to turn this into sort of a, give it as much production as possible. We already have 19.9, which is, I mean, pretty good. How much does Rome have? Well, 35, so Rome's doing a lot better. But for a seven population city, I don't think that's too bad. Um, we have a housing problem. Oh, damn. It was all going so well till we realized we had to give our people houses. Um, um, no, we can't even build a bath here. That's shoot. Oh, maybe we could if we cleared the marsh. Am I right in thinking that? I don't know if I'm right in thinking that. Because that's the wonder, isn't it? So what what is it now for a bath? I'm sh I think it's a mountain or a river, maybe. I thought it was anyway. Requirements must be adjacent to the city center, okay, as well as an adjacent river, lake, oasis, or mountain. Okay, I'm pretty confident that that doesn't count as a mountain because, although it is obviously a mountain, but because it's a wonder, I'm pretty sure it doesn't count. So we can't get the cheap option of, um,. A bath in Gdansk, which is not good. What is my other option? What are my other options here? What gives housing? I can't even think at the top of my head. I know that doesn't. Right. Um, I wonder if there's like a list on the Civlopedia. I know there's stuff in an encampment that does. Okay, now, I'm sure there's stuff in the encampment that does. Um, I know there is. I'm, I'm sure, but oh, I don't want to tie it up here. I want to play a bit more. But we do need to think about what to do. Right, I'm going to go ahead and build an encampment. Right, let's have a look then. If we want to play a bit more, let's have a look. I'm sure there's buildings in the encampment. I can't remember what. So um, I'm sure the barracks give you a bit of housing. Like I am, I am eighty percent sure. Bar. Yes, one housing, which is not a great deal, but it's something. Okay, so we're actually we'll go down that route. Um, do let me know though your tips for managing housing by using just buildings. That'd be very interesting. Oh god. We could buy that tile and put it there. Oh, what's that tile doing there? Mm, we might as well have it near Amsterdam just in case that converts to the dark side at any point. Do 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 do. No. Okay, Amsterdam, Amsterdam influenced by three. Ooh, Congo! He's creeping up there, isn't it? Right, yeah, good idea. I wanted to build the barracks all along. I just didn't know. Right. I think putting it there, I mean, that's a two food, two production tile, not ideal, but if we put it there, that's, a, that's well placed in case Amsterdam does get brave. We have another one there as well. So we'd actually be in a very good position. Um, well, Lugdunum wouldn't be, but the rest of the Empire would. Let's build that. Yeah, let's just go and put it there. Good. Rainforest gone. How tragic. It's going to be an absolute fortress to take, right? Nah, nah. Ooh, we got our spy soon. Oh, you need to go down here. Come and play down here. Um, we'll have you near Lublin, because if they go to war, we might as well have an immediate response. I don't see why we wouldn't. Let's bring some more of these down as well. 
Right, yeah, you can just go and get on the road there, please. We've still got more troops up here than we need. I mean, I'll even leave the pikemen here for now. I don't even care. Right, we'll stick you in there. You go in there. One upgrade, good for you. Um, and we'll probably... I'm trying to split the four sensibly. I think we could do with a few more troops down here. Especially of, of ones that can use guns. What I've also noticed this turn is that we have got... Um, I'm just kind of putting them in the, the, roughly the area. We have got access to ironclads now. So, we need to start thinking about building our navy up. That is high on my list of things to do. Now, if we carry on making lots of money, how much does it cost to sort of buy these? Um, a lot will be the answer, but just sort of how much. Can we upgrade you? Yeah, we can actually upgrade you to an ironclad, so we might as well do that. Yeah, so you can come to friendly territory and then we'll upgrade you when, when you get back. But how much would it cost to actually go ahead and buy one? A lot. I already know it's a lot, but how much? I'm probably just going to swear when I see this. Okay, so a frigate's 925 gold, which is a lot already. Okay, an ironclad is 1,260 gold. We will be buying, sorry, building the ironclads. Um, we do not make that much money. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave it there. We are ready to end another turn. Where we are right now, we're just building up our buildings. We've got a theatre square coming, which is very, very, very exciting, um, probably. Um, and we are just trying to make everything work better. I, I really want to focus in the next episode over here maybe a little bit. We have some more troops coming, but I love the idea of this as an outpost. Um, we could do with buying a builder. Let's buy a builder. Let's splash some cash. No, that's a tile. Let's go and splash that money. 365, nothing to us. We make 291 per turn, um, which we will be saving some of. Um, so then we can go work on the coal and really start to build this up as a, as an outpost of the Roman Empire and a real pain in Persia's side. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more, and I will see you in another video soon.